Let's take the FTX DR8 for a spin. Roll the intros. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Chelmsford RC. I'm Peter. As the title suggests today, we've had the unboxing, we've had the review. Now we're going to get this bad boy outside in the fresh air, in the sunshine with a 4S battery and two 3S batteries and take it up to a 6S. I'm not sure what this is going to do. I've never had an electric car that can do this power before. My first electric car, as you know, on my channel was the Kyosho. This is my second electric car and at 4S and 6S, I will admit I am going to be rather scared. So I'm going to spin the camera around guys, show you the batteries that I'm going to be using and also something that I use to test my batteries and show you the voltages on uh, of the batteries in the cells. So I'm going to quickly spin the camera around guys and show you the batteries. So these are the batteries I'm going to be running guys. This is a Centro 7600 milliamp 4 cell 14.8 volts running on 100C. And I'm also going to be using two sets of volts 11.1 50C 3S LiPo packs as well. Now, both of the, all three of these batteries aren't fully charged. Um, I don't know how much charge is in them, so let's have a look. This is my cell meter seven. Now, this is how I check um, my battery levels. So all you literally do is grab your balanced pull of your, of your battery, make sure the blacks are facing to the top of the meter. I might have to put these batteries on charge before I take it outside. Hopefully not. Then I can get the little devils in. And straight away, this is an 11.1 volt battery and it is showing that it's still got 11.3 volts left in it. And it's a 29%. So these will have to go on charge. And let's have a look at the four cell. So this one's telling me it's got 70% charge let's just zoom you in a little bit guys zoom you in there we go so like i said it's showing you that it's got 70 percent charge 15.81 volts altogether and if i press on the middle button which is cell and it also tells you that it's a lipo so you can test lipo life lion nimh and also nicab batteries on this system so it's telling me that cell one's got 3.9 volts Cell 2, 3.9 again. Again, for cell 3, 3.9. And cell 4, 3.9 as well. And this, this thing also gives you an indication of how healthy your batteries are. Obviously, if the cell rates are different, it means, this, means that this battery could be on the way out. So that is the batteries I'm going to be using and the way that I test the batteries and see how much charge I've got. So we are going to get this DR8 up and running and what we're going to do is we're going to test it on a single 4 cell which is the Centro 7600 milliamp hour at uh, 100 C's and it is 12, sorry, 12.4 uh, 12 volts and then we're going to take that one out and we're going to stick in a pair of volts, 11.1 volt 50C 3S LiPos and make it up to a 6S and we're going to see what this girl can do. Um, obviously you guys know underneath, I've given you a tour around the car already in the previous video. So I'm going to get the car sorted out and we're going to get this thing moving for the first time. So like I said, we're going to use the Centro 7600 milliamp 100C battery first, four cells. Let's see what this thing can do. And straight out of the box, LEDs are looking very, very bright. <laughs> Sorry about the wind, guys. It is a bit breezy. It's about the best day this week we've had for actually doing a YouTube video. But... On 4S, it is damn quick, and this road's not big enough. That's on full power. 
So I haven't used this car yet, so I don't know what it's going to be like on a six cell. But I dare say we're about to find out. It's got good brakes on it. I'll give it that. And the way the brakes work, you can... Well, unless you don't hit the kerb, you do a pretty good handbrake turn, probably. So we'll try that again. Kind of a handbrake turn. Certainly couldn't drift this car, not unless it was wet or slippery or icy. But on 4S, it is pretty, pretty lively. I'll give it that. So I'm gonna swap the batteries over now, guys and let's see what it could do on 6S. So obviously using the 4S, the battery is connected into this port and on when it's on because there's only a single battery and there's two ports on this for a 6S LiPo, you have to put a what they call like a like a short short in plug or a blanking plug in there so it just completes the loop because otherwise if you don't put this in and you're only connected to here it's not going to run. So you do need that little loop, or you can make your own, because don't forget, these are XT90s. So we're gonna take this out now, and change the batteries over. I'm not gonna bore you with that bit, guys, but I'm gonna put, quickly pause the camera and swap them over. Right, so because my free cell batteries are XT90s, I've had to get an adapter from wheel spin models, and this will go from an XT90 into an XT, sorry, an XT60 male to an XT90 female, and you just literally put them back together like you normally would. So instead of having the blanking plug in there, you use both sets of batteries. So I'm going to quickly shut these in, guys, and then we're going to give it a test run on the 6S. So the 6S is now in, so let's see what this thing can do. Straight away it is rather more punchy on acceleration. And already it's trying. And straight away 6S has livened this thing right up. This thing is quite capable of pulling wheelies. And I've got no way of speed testing this yet, but I will be getting a speed test, a GPS sensor. And I will be seeing how fast my batteries can get this thing up to. So one of my neighbours is trying, just going to give it. <clears throat> I think one of my neighbours tried giving it a race, but as you just found out, a DRA on 6S versus a push bike, not a chance in hell. But this thing definitely likes doing wheelies. Definitely likes doing wheelies. Now the battery is not fully charged on this. I'm gonna quickly pause the camera, guys. Don't want my neighbor's cars on show, guys. Because that wouldn't be a very nice. So we'll see if we can get it to try and do a front wheel front wheelie. But as you can see guys, it is Pretty nimble on 6S, and I would would not like to think what would happen if this hit your ankles at full tilt. So hence why I am being a bit careful because obviously my neighbour's kids are around. I don't want any of them getting hurt.
think the batteries are starting to wear down now so it's having trouble getting that front end up almost took myself out and the camera out then but from a standing start this thing is absolutely rapid So what do I think of the DR8? Absolutely epic. Really, really good car. Glad I bought it. So I'm gonna pause the camera here now, guys, and then we'll go to the conclusion once I finish playing. So conclusion for the FTX DR8. On four cells, it's pretty rapid. And on six, OMG. It is a little rocket it's a beast um would i recommend one of these ftx dr rates to you guys yes i would highly recommend it is i won't say it's a budget rc car because it is around the three and a half hundred pound mark from different people where you can get them from i.e the likes of model sport and wheel spin uh, again thanks to the guys at wheel spins for doing a price comparison when i bought this vehicle and they reduced the price that they set it for and matched uh, another certain uh, company out on a website. Um, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed the little little show and tell of how I test my batteries to make sure they are healthy and charged. And as you saw, I had to charge up the free cell batteries before I went out. Didn't give them a complete full charge. I let them go to about 90% as I didn't want to charge them up fully because I knew I wouldn't be out there all that long to be able to run them. So. I just ran them so I could probably bring them down below 50% and get them onto a balanced charge and get them into storage mode until the next time I use them because that's how I do things. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you want any more information about the FTX DR rate, I'm going to leave a clickable link down on underneath in the comment sec uh, in the description box uh, for the FTX website itself. And also, I'm going to leave a link to Chris with a CRC. His channel on YouTube is well, well worth a watch. Um, he has got a DR8 himself, the exact same one as mine, same colour, but he has done upgrades. He has done uh, re-oiled the diffs. He's got a skin for the bottom of the car, so the actual um, aluminium chassis doesn't get scratched up as much. So that is something that I'm going to be looking into as well, thanks to Chris. I'm also going to be looking in at maybe taking the diffs apart, re oiling them and also upgrades to the FTX. So again, if you want to learn more about the FTX, go over to Chris's website. He would be much appreciated. Say that I sent you over, subscribe to his channel so he can get more subscribers and get his channel up and running the same as I'm trying to get mine up and running. Again, I'll leave all the descriptions to the batteries as well and the car. But until the next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the watching. If you want to become a subscriber, you know how it works. You have to press the click on the icon on the left hand side, click on the little bell icon, select all, and it will notify you of all my future videos. If you uh, like this video, please smash the like button down on the left hand side. And if you've got any comments or questions, again, you can either ask myself and I will try and answer them, or failing that, I will say to you, go over to Chris at Chris RC uh, with a C, and he'll be able to help you as well. Like I said, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description and again if you want to carry on watching videos from my channel there should be a link coming up here and here until the next time guys look after yourselves protect your loved ones but above all happy modeling and bye bye from channels with rc